The next will be Travel and Tourism, and the nominees are... Travel and Tourism, Alfred Nyasem, International Youth Exchange Program, Wisdom, Maoli Paku, Majora Travels and Educational Consult. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Travel and Tourism Award for tonight's 40 Under 40 Awards 2020 is Wisdom Mauli Paku of Majora Travels and Educational Consult. Guys, I found him, the young Ghanaian entrepreneur who was named in Forbes Africa 30 under 30. He's here with us, guys. It's really amazing. I made it possible for him to be on Daily TV today. Hi, guys. We are at the now. We won't really know what's going on here. Go nowhere. Just stay with us, Daily Wise Television. We have so much for you. Subscribe to our channel and then after subscription, see down there, there's one bell there. Just click on that so that whenever we upload videos, you will be notified. So guys, today we are going to have a conversation with the young entrepreneur who is the CEO of Majora Groups to share his success story uh, with us. I believe you will enjoy this video, so make sure that you watch the video till the end. And hey guys, one important thing is that if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. After subscribing, uh, turn on the bell notification on so you will not miss any updated video that we will upload. And you need to share the video for other people to also watch. Uh, this video is a form of motivation and also if you are an entrepreneur or if you are a youth uh, you want to start a business I believe this video is good for you so you need to watch the video to the end and you comment as well guys it is really important if you watch the video make sure that you comment <laughs> it's really really important so today as I said we are going to have a discussion with the CEO of Majora groups of companies uh, to share with us his personal life story and the success of Majora groups so without wasting much time guys I want you to join me to welcome the CEO himself on the platform Danny Wise TV. Welcome to Danny Wise TV. Thank you so much. The champion Mr. CEO. Wise. <laughs> <laughs> champion CEO. I mean, nice. yes. Wow. But but more serious. I like that shirt you are wearing. You know. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you so much. You, you need to recommend me to your 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 designer. <laughs> <laughs> wow I, I need to get that to shirt. know the designer who designed this shirt for you oh this shirt was designed by orange clothing my fashion designer ah. she has been dressing me for the past three years now wow orange clothing shout out to you in Obuasi, orange wow orange clothing so orange clothing <laughs> if you are in Obuasi, if you are watching us today uh very soon you'll be my designer so orange clothing if you are watching us make sure that you leave a comment below in the comment section you can check in the video description as well for my contact you can communicate with me uh, if, even if you get to CEO himself you get my contact uh, from the CEO so you can be my designer as well so see you welcome once again to the NYC TV thank you thank I agree. you I, I hope you are enjoying your your, your stay in Dubai fantastic huh? experience has been so fascinating it has been very interesting because wow. This is not my first time coming to Dubai actually, it's my second time. Mm, second time? It's my second mm, time. Amazing. And there is so much fun to catch because I've visited a whole lot of places and wow. I have still not even exhausted the tourist centers here in Dubai. So you just imagine. <laughs> yeah, because just imagine. for you to be in Dubai for how many days now? Right? Yeah, for 10 days. Oh, I've yes. been to Dubai in 10 days. Whoa. 10 days. Uh, then, yes. then, guys, staying in Dubai for 10 days is not that easy, but he has tried uh, because he's the CEO of Majora <laughs> Group. So, if you're watching us, uh, make sure that you watch to the end of this video so you can get his personal contact uh, to communicate with him. Uh, he will help you a lot. But before we, 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 we move to today's main topic, I want to ask you this question. Uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about heaven on earth, heaven on earth, about abroad stay that if you are living in abroad is heaven on earth is it true that uh, living abroad is heaven on earth based on your experience in traveling yeah mr wise i would say living in abroad 
as people are saying it's more of you living heaven on earth mm. i would say yes it's true in the sense that you living abroad you consider the the standard of living of consider the standard of living of the people mm. you see the standard of living here is very good in the sense that you have better roads you have better educational system you have better hospital care you see so considering the the life or the living standard of the people being the indigenous of this country or the foreigners living here you see everything is just so on point mm -hmm. so i would wow. say living in abroad as people say it's more of heaven on earth i also agree by that say oh, I, I, agree. I agree by that <laughs> yeah. so guys if you're watching us today as per the sea you will live in abroad is a uh I mean, he agreed to that, that it is heaven on earth, okay? <laughs> if you are watching us and you don't agree that living abroad is heaven on earth, you can leave a comment below and tell us the reason why you don't agree to that. And if you agree to that, you can also share in the comment section the reason why you agree living abroad is heaven on earth. So back to the main conversation to see what we have been hearing of Majora, Majora, Majora. I mean, a lot of people and my viewers will ask, who is even Majora and what do they do? Yeah, I would say my company's name is Majora Group. Mm. The company is Majora Group and Majora Group is a company which I started by myself wow. in 2017. 2017? I started Majora in 2017. Though the business was started even before 2017, but I got it officially registered in 2017, July. Wow. So Majora has been operating legally for close to five years now. Yeah, and uh, Majora has been operating for close to five years now and we are into travels we are into education consultancy we are into digital media and marketing into top packages into oh. photography and videography so wow. as you you can see Majora is a diversified company we have the travel aspect we have the digital media and business consulting aspects hmm. and we also have the photography aspect wow. so in as much as Majora is a group of company companies. we have the diversity of the subsidiaries and wow. that. that is amazing so you were a group of companies you were into sure. photography you were into digital marketing uh you were into travel and tourism exactly. educational promotion as exactly. well exactly. oh exactly. that is amazing exactly. then uh, l let me ask you this question that you started your business in 2017 which is almost five years four to five years now exactly. then how old were you when you started your business <laughs> 2017 i was 24 years by then see 24, 24 years? years yeah so at that age 24 years starting a business at that time what motivated you to go into the travel industry is it because people talk about the travel industry as a money venture thing or you just have some main vision why you you, you venture into that no always what i do tell people is you don't just wake up and say you want to enter into a business or a specific industry it all has to come as a result of a problem that you want to solve it has to come from a problem that you want to solve in the sense that what service or what product are you willing to offer your clients so i started majora like i said I didn't start Majora in 2017. I started way back on campus, sorry. Mm, but okay. the business, I got it registered in 2017. So I entered into travel and tour business because in 2015, I wanted to travel to the United States of America. That was in 2015? In 2015. I was in second year in the university. Oh. I wanted to travel, to embark on this work and travel abroad, work and travel abroad, to have the travel experience in the States, work for three months, come back, come and pursue your education. So I consulted one agency back on campus then for them to assist me with the documentation processes. This agency did everything for me right. But I went for a visa interview and I was denied visa. Oh. I was denied visa. So I got to my room and I started thinking about the whole experience. I thought about the whole experience. So what did this agency do for me that as a tertiary student I couldn't have 
handled everything all by myself. That was how came I saw that no, there is an opportunity, there is a gap that I have to solve. So that was how came I entered into the travel and tour industry. Wow. You decided to travel in 2015 when you were in campus. Exactly. And you, your visa was denied. Exactly. So from there, you decided to enter into travel because it's you find more. out some gap in it. Exactly. Wow, that is amazing. Exactly. <laughs> that is amazing. So what even came up in your mind? Because then, 2015, you were in, you were in tertiary. tertiary yeah, what came yeah. in your mind that, hey, suddenly I want to travel then? Yeah, travel has always been part of me. Mm -hmm. Even at a very young age, I used to embark on tours in Elmina, in Cape Coast Castle, in Accra, in other townships and cities within Ghana. Wow. So travel has always been a part of me. So when I was a student, I was always having the mindset that I also one day travel in order to experience the life people are living abroad. So that was how I came, I consulted them to start my documents for me. Wow, that is amazing. So guys, if you're watching us today as per the CEO, uh, before you start any business, you need to identify some problems. If you're able to identify the problem, then you think of how you are going to solve that problem. Because uh, he find himself in a certain situation which made him figure out what are the gap in that industry so that he can also establish his business and uh, try to solve those very very challenges or problems in that industry so first you need to I mean identify some problem then find a way you can also solve that problem uh, before you start your business somebody who asks starting uh, i mean travel and tourism company because we have been hearing a lot about some bad experiences and other things have you also encountered any uh, bad experiences since you started your, your your business yeah mr wise like i will say every business has its own negative side or has its own cons no business will start and just succeed no, every business has its own challenges that you normally face. And what I will say with regards to the particular industry in which I am, the travel and tourism industry, yeah, definitely you experience some bad moments, some very displeasing moments. And I have experienced that because I remember right from the onset that I started my company in 2017, I got this offer to bring people to UAE. Wow. And I made my checks. Everything was genuine. The company sent an agent who was even from Ghana mm. to come in order for us to facilitate the whole processes. So this agent came to Ghana and uh, my client made payment. I handled a payment of 12,000 Ghana cities to the agent. 12,000? 12, 12,000. 12, as of 2017. 2017. Wow. This agent took the money and had to run away. An agent whom the company 12, sent 12,000 CDs. 12,000 CDs, Mr. Weiss. This agent took the money and ran away. And it was my company that the money was paid to. So just imagine. As a young boy of 24 years, I've started my business hmm. right from the onset. Parents were not in support of the business. No family or friend to even support you. Starting so many hurdles, so many bad moments from Ghana revenue to even following my life that I should start paying tax, SNET, reg register my employees to pay SNET contribution. Mm. And this huge debt also yeah. hits my business. So very bad moments, very oh. bad moments, Mr. Weiss. Very bad moments. But what, what, what I will say is, uh, in as much as you, you start your travel and tour and these things hit you, you still have to maintain the trust. Because though the, the people pay the money to me, and I also handled it over to the agent, the agent. and the agent ran away. Wow. You see? So you paid a sum of uh, 12,000 Ghana cities, then 2017, 12,000 cities sure. to the agent, and the agent ran away. Exactly. So, I mean, 
as a young guy establishing your own business and uh, paying that huge amount of money to a certain person or a, an agent for him to run away were you i mean demotivated in in in, in that that no i need to set back i don't want to continue my business yeah, Mr. Wise, I would say it was a very bad experience, like I previously said, because I even started my business through my daily savings. Oh. I started my business through my daily savings, and me being hit with a debt of 12,000 Ghana cities, yeah. I had to work for six months without paying myself. Six months without paying yourself? I worked for six months without paying myself because I was having two employees by then. I was in debt. You pay the client involved and you use the other revenue or returns to settle your employees. So I worked for six months without paying myself. Wow. So see you uh, paying a sum of 12,000 cities to an agent and now you are the one who need to pay the client. Exactly. Where were you getting your money from? Were you into other businesses that supported you or your family supported you in paying that debt? No, I wasn't into any other business. Mm. It so was how, just, how did you pay that money? It was just the travel and tour services that I was rendering out. So what I did was I had to sit the clients down that this, this is a debt that my company is facing. So in as much as things didn't go too well, we are going to pay your money to you in full, but give us a period of time. Mm -hmm. So within a period of six months, I had some payment or some amount that I was paying to each client. And this was how came I was able to pay this debt. Well, how many people were involved in that? There were four people involved, four people. each paying 3,000 uh, as the initial payment. And what happened? So were you able to arrest the person who took the money or the person took the money away? <laughs> yeah, I was able to arrest him, but even that's a different thing altogether. Mm. Because the kind of stress that I even have to go through in order to grab this thief. Yeah, it was it was hell. But I was able to arrest him. But and did yeah. the person pay the money back? Oh no, as I talk to you now, he's still owing me five thousand four. But I have no idea of his whereabouts. So wow! I've left it. 2017 to 2021, and the person is still owing you 5,400. Yes. Which is almost half of the money. Yes. Uh, guys, if you're watching us, this is the Device TV. And uh, if you have just joined, the we are having a conversation with the CEO of Majora Groups, it's Mr. Wisdom Malipaku. Uh, about his success story and his ups and downs in his business when he started way back from campus and uh, after graduation how he survived and how he tried hard to build his brand so make sure that you watch the video to the end and hey guys the video is also sponsored by Minazi Foodstuffs if you're in United Arab Emirates uh, they do delivery across all the seven Emirates if you want to order any African food you can check on the screen for the website uh, make sure that you order all your African food from the website the website is on the screen make sure that you I mean order all your African food and you can also call them on the same number on the screen uh, communicate with the CEO directly uh, for all the African product that you need so see we're coming back to you based on the challenges the ups and downs that you pass through what is your greatest achievement so far in, in, in your business yeah when it comes to achievements I will say the greatest of it all is serving a clientele base of more than 2,000 Wow Majora group has served more than 2,000 clients over the past four years, I would say my clients are my everything, so that's my greatest achievement. Wow. It doesn't end just there. I was also recognized by Forbes Africa as one of their young entrepreneurs, the 30 under 30, last wow. year 2020. I was one of them. I was one of them from Ghana. Uh, so I would say that's also another great milestone for my business. Wow. And the last of it all, it's also winning the Travel and Tourism Award for Ghana 40 under 40. That's also another achievement. So for now, though I have been nominated 
on other awards, but wow. didn't go to well. But these are my achievements so far, Mr. Wise. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Winning Forbes Africa 30 under 30 is not, I mean, a small thing. It's not a small journey, as you see. So, guys, if you're watching us today, uh, make sure that you, I mean, take the advice from the CEO uh, being nominated on different, different platforms. And uh, he won the Forbes Africa 30 under 30. That is, I mean, a, one of the greatest achievements, I can say that. Because being recognized in Africa or in the magazine of Forbes Africa uh, is not is not a small achievement. Congratulations once again. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Wise. Thank you. And you mentioned that you have a client base of uh, more than two thousand. Sure. Wow. Yeah. With all the services that we render hmm. for our clients, being it the visa application, being it education, being it people that we have even purchased flight tickets, wow. being it those who needed any of our online services, our passport application services, our flight tickets, photography, videography, being it any of our business consulting services. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Now, somebody's watching me now and a person wants to travel to Europe for to pursue uh, his or her education. If they come to your, I mean, doorstep, will you be able to help them? We do all those services, Mr. Wise. That is amazing. Education abroad, tour packages, flight reservation, and uh, ticketing, both domestic, hmm. I mean, in Ghana and also abroad. Tour wow. packages. Any anything about travel, just reach out to Majora and even corporate travels. Let's say you are a company and you want to embark on the, on travel on holidays and you reach out, we can even arrange everything your airport pickups, hotel reservation, and anything that you can think of. And the price will be affordable? Well, our prices are very moderate. What? I would say our pricing is very moderate because one thing about this industry is before someone will come to you definitely the person will ask to check the price online because let's say someone wants to take it to london he will first go online to check british airways to london how much is it costing yeah before the person comes to you so averagely yeah we know how the industry is very moderate pricing that is amazing so we, we most people watching us maybe have some bad experience in, with some travel agencies and other companies. Uh, what makes you exceptional on the market uh, that people who want to travel abroad, people who want to travel to pursue their career, needs to come to you but not any other travel company? Yeah, Mr. Wise, I would say one, Majora Group is very professional when it comes to the service provision industry that we offer to our clients. We are professional in the sense that we know what it takes. We know what it takes to take someone abroad. When it comes to flight tickets, we know the challenges involved in purchasing flight tickets for someone. Let's say the person has tested positive for COVID and now he or she wants a date of change. Uh, once the day change, you see, so we can do all these things. This makes Majora professional in the services that we render. Aside that, we are also reliable mm -hmm. in the sense that in as much as our office is being open from Monday to Saturday, anytime that you call Majora Group, we will attend to you. What? We will provide any services that you want because in as much as our office is only open, during Monday to Thursday, anytime we are going to respond to you. Aside that, I, I always tell my clients or my managers that trust in this service provision industry is non-trial. You can't say you are trying trust. Yeah, tr Once the person lose trust in you, everything, yeah, everything is comes done. to a stop. So trust or uh, integrity is something that we don't joke with, with Majora Group. Wow. And last of it all, I will also say Majora is also transparent. Mm. Anything or any service that we offer to you, we make you understand the processes involved, the cost involved, the duration of the processes, and how we are going to embark on the whole experience. This is what makes Majora outstanding. This is what makes Majora distinct from all other travel and tour companies across the world.
because one thing everybody watching me uh, normally looks on market is about trust and being transparent in your dealings because uh, yeah, I cannot come to you dealing with you without being transparent or uh, I mean without having any trust in, in your business see you you take your coffee and I'll come back <laughs> with you with another question because today that you're on our show we need to ask you anything regarding the travel industry for my viewers and the people watching us who have the dream to travel abroad to pursue their career mm. who also learn something hmm. so guys if you're watching us we are at the city center of dubai that is the dera city center at the caribbean coffee site so if you visit uh there are city center more you need to visit caribbean coffee and get yourself a cool coffee uh they taste real good yeah very, very nice taste wow. so I really enjoy coffee it, for yeah. watching us make sure that <laughs> you come to us <laughs> let me because uh, it's opportunity let me take the opportunity to advert for them guys uh make sure that you get one for yourself it tastes really good it tastes really good <laughs> So if you are just joining the show, this is Danny Wise TV and we are live with the CEO of Majora Groups uh, discussing his success story and his ups and downs and what you as a young guy or a youth watching me today, if you have the dream to be in the travel industry or establish your own business uh, in the travel and tourism industry, what it takes and what you need to do uh, for you to get your business up and running. So make sure you watch the video to the end. As I said, hey, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to our channel. After subscribing, make sure that you share the content with other people. Let other people also benefit. You are benefiting. So make sure that you share with other people for them to also benefit. As you are watching me today, this show is also sponsored by Minazi Foodstuffs. As I said, you can order all your African foodstuffs. If you are in the United Arab Emirates, order 7 Emirates, they do delivery. Just pick your phone, go online, check on the screen for the website, order your all African food or African product that you need, and it will be delivered to you. They, I mean, amazing thing in it is delivery before payment. You order your things, they will deliver to you, then you pay. It's really amazing, guys. Emmys Travel and Cargo Services is also there for you. If you are, uh, I mean, in United Arab Emirates and you want to ship your items to any African country, uh, Emmys Travel and Cargo Services is also there to, I mean, assist you. Uh, either you want to ship your items to either Ghana, Cameroon, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, Tanzania, South Africa, wherever you want to ship your items to, uh, Emmys Cargo Services will also be at your doorsteps. Even if you are watching us and you want to purchase items from United Arab Emirates you can check on the screen for uh, I mean cargo services contact communicate with the CEO directly and uh, they will attend to all your needs they can purchase your items and ship to you wherever you are the same thing let me take the opportunity to advertise Majora groups of companies they are into photography but I the CEO himself will brief us more about their services but hey guys if you want to travel abroad if it is your dream to pursue your career your educational career in abroad then the only company you need to look for or I mean call them for your services as Machora Travel and Tourism. They will help you in your I mean hotel reservation, airline ticketing and I mean booking, anything regarding your travel for your visa assistance, visa application, any documentation process regarding your traveling, they will be able to help you or assist you. They have professionals and they will help you. The amazing thing is the CEO has been nominated in so many platforms and Currently, he is the award winner of Forbes Africa 30 under 30. That is 2020 award. He is the current winner. And at the same time, Ghana 40 uh, under 40 uh, best travel company in Ghana. He is the current award winner. So with these awards, uh, I should tell you that they are professional and they are dealing with credibility. So make sure that you contact them. Just check on the screen for their contact details and communicate with Majora Travel and Tourism. They will help you in all your traveling and documentation. See you coming back to you. I hope you can take some coffee. Then I ask you one more question. Yes, uh, you discussed with that uh, you were exceptional in the market due to your transparency and the trust you build with your client. Sure. People watching me now wants to come to you for your services that you provide. 
I will be very glad if you can repeat to us the services that you provide and your head office where they can locate you where are you based in if I come to Ghana where can I see Majora group of companies for, for you to help me in all my services yeah mr wise like i previously said majora is into travels and education consultancy thinking of flight ticketing both domestic or international think of top packages you are a company and you want to embark on a travel you want majora to assist you with arrangements airports pickup hotel reservation flight bookings and all that think of majora travels aside that you are a student you want to pursue your educational dreams being it first degree masters or any diploma program you can reach out to majora group aside that we are also into digital media and marketing thinking of social media management websites designs and creation think of anything designing anything printable think of majora group we are also into photography and videography you need any pictures professional pictures you need videos for your wedding for your funerals personal photo shoots reach out to majora group so these are the services that we offer our clients and uh, you can reach out to my number on plus two three three two four two four five seven eight zero one plus two three three plus two three three two four two two four two four five four five seven eight seven eight zero one zero one you can also reach out to our office line on zero two four zero zero two four zero three nine zero three nine zero three nine three three nine three our office is located at Oboise mm. Hossi Park Story Building you just see our signboard largely pasted on, on there Majora group just adjacent soccer beds. Oh, nice. It's not a difficult place to locate wow. at all. Obuase people, if you are watching us from Obuase, leave a comment below that I am from Obuase. And if you subscribe, comment below I have subscribed so I can give you a shout out in my next video. So, guys, if you want to locate Majora, as the CEO said, they are located in Obuase Hasi Park. Uh, that is the main uh, station, right? Yeah, Hasi so, Park. So, Obuase main station, uh, Hasi Park, adjacent soccer bed. Check on the screen, the seawall and the office line is there. They, I mean, it's really amazing. Hey right, guys, you need to pay me because, uh, you know, I'm giving them your number. Serious. It's not easy to get him. But hey guys, I'm giving you his personal contact. Check on the screen for the CEO personal contact. Communicate with him. Tell him what you need. You want to travel abroad, he will help you. So call him and uh, discuss with him all your travel needs. But uh, you said if a group wants to embark on a, uh, I mean a tour. Tour package. Tour package, if they contact you. Uh, now that you are in Dubai, did you cook? I mean, came with other people uh, on the top. Yeah, I came with some clients of mine. Oh, some clients of mine. Some a lawyer friend of mine based in Accra wow. and his brother and some couples who are also here for honeymoon. Some business people as well. So I came here with my clients. Wow. I came here with my clients. That is amazing. So wherever you move, you move with your client. Exactly. That is interesting because exactly. it's not any company CEO that will have that time to move out with the client, uh, even if they are going on a tour. Uh, you also sacrifice your time based on your business cuddles, you, you move with them. Yeah, sure. Oh, then you are doing well. That <laughs> is why you, people are now Weiss. mentioning you. Because thank you, Mr. Everywhere people are talking about thank Majora, Majora, Majora. I said, huh, who is this Majora? I need to get him on my show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people were asking me, hey, Dennis, ah, have you heard of the uh, Majora, this guy who won the Forbes Africa 30 and the 30? And you know, I, I purchased one of your magazines. Oh, okay. Yes, I have one of your magazines. You have it here? I I have your magazine here guys this is africa forbes, forbes 30 africa. and uh, 30. the ceo himself doesn't know that i bought magazine <laughs> because of him but it's a surprise <laughs> <laughs> because wow. of him i bought this magazine guys because i was reading more how oh, this young guy this young Ghanaian guy is doing marvelously well guys and if, if if we got to know that you are doing well we need to push you uh we need to support each other i mean 
uh, one Africa, one people. So if you see your brother is doing something which is extraordinary on the market, you need to also help to push that business. So once I got to know that, no, he's below the age of 30 winning this award and i got to know even after reading the magazine i got to know that you are the first person to be named i mean from obuas you are the first person uh to be in forbes africa 30 under 30. oh yes uh, last year we were three Ghanaians who were nominated uh Sela also is a video video producer hmm. for so many big stars and uh, wow. a whole lot of big stars in ghana and nigeria and the other guy too is a car racer hmm. also based in uk, UK yeah, so I even I, I i was the only ghanaian based in our homeland wow, who was nominated last year that is that is a great yeah. achievement that was, uh, i read so guys for you to believe me uh, let me show you that he was the winner for you were 26 then that was 2020 award uh -huh. he's you can see his picture here guys so i bought this magazine i read more about him this uh with with the maoli 26 ghanian found the majora group so diversify all this so this is the story of uh the ceo the young ghanian guy who is here with me now live on daily wise tv so if you also want to be in the travel industry uh you can also get his personal contact communicate with him and i believe with his experience he can also guide you to uh i mean establish your business if you if you have that uh dream to own your own company uh to become a ceo uh, he will help you so it's not that easy to be in this magazine but because of him i spend money to buy this magazine so that i can read uh, to know more about him uh, by the way congratulations once again thank you mr and, wise thank uh, so see you uh, i want to ask you this question after winning the forbes africa 30 under 30 does it bring any impact in your in your life or in the business you are doing and uh, are you under pressure after winning that uh, award yeah mr wise i would say it has brought a whole lot of things to my business i mean positive stuff to my business in the sense that initially it was very challenging because me being of was and being recognized by forbes africa i couldn't sleep for three days wow i couldn't sleep for three days because now forbes has recognized me and i was thinking of the tax i had yeah. being caught by media houses what the local people expect from you so it was very challenging initially but going forward it has connected me to different kinds of people wow. not only in ghana across africa across the world in the sense that i was in ghana and one media house from kenya called me and i had a discussion uh, about the travel and tourism industry in ghana i was in ghana i received a call from ethiopia on this same travel and tourism industry wow. i have been called by certain media houses in accra for free just to interview wow. me and it has also widened my network base yes. my customer base because someone will reach out to you and later the person will get to know that folks recognize you and that alone the person finds yeah, you trust well a lot of youth are watching us you've been uh, i mean an entrepreneur at the age of 30 winning uh, this award and appear on different magazine what advice would you give it to the young people uh, watching us and the people who wants to be like you yeah mr wise what i would tell the youth watching me is one they have to dream big they have to dream big because nobody achieve something without the person dreaming big aside them dreaming big it doesn't just end there once you are a dreamer you also have to be an action oriented person once you dream of achieving something you also have to put in actions so the youth also have to start doing something it's not just about you dreaming be an action mover aside that the youth also have to be very resilient enough because in as much as you are perceiving your career or you are perceiving your goals challenges will come your way obstacles will set in but when those obstacles come what then are you going to do 
so the youth also have to be very tenacious or resilient enough as a matter of any obstacles that comes their way they have to still be strong and push on they have to still push on press on and that is the die hard spirit that they have to cultivate this habit and the youth also have to delay gratification because so many people dream big they achieve it and what then do they do afterwards after you achieve success this is the period for you to delay certain enjoyment they have to delay certain fun and think more of perceiving their dreams forward Sio, thank you so much for coming on our show uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. and we, we pray that what you have started make sure that you continue the same way and build a trustworthy base for people to connect with you uh, across the world so guys thank you for watching the wise tv uh, as you know we had a discussion with the ceo of majora groups of companies mr uh mauli pag uh, he's 30 and 34 africa uh, award winner in 2020 and also 40 and 40 ghana best travel company award he's the current award winner uh, he came to share his experience with us i believe that you enjoyed this video make sure that you have subscribed to the channel if you have not subscribed turn on the bell notification once you subscribe and share this video for other people to also benefit see you in our next video Aquaba. Check here, so we have our share better here, and honorable yeah. will take us through. Good, so in, in this category, my uh, share butter, I don't know if people really know what share butter share has or the benefits yeah. that share butter, butter provides, but um, if you really want to know, just get a piece of it and use it for just one week, and you come and tell us what you think of share butter. Biobab oil is also, and all these extracts are natural. They, they are gotten from the natural fruit, on mixed, on, on, on this blended straight from the fruit, and you get the natural oil coming out and stored first hand. Natural coconut oil, we have the castor oil, Zuri uh, line of uh, products, where we have proper pure shea butter cream, castor oil cream, baobab oil, and natural coconut oil. Wow. I would ask you to tell your people to try this and bring me the results with that in the future. Guys, then so you need to then. try. I will surely come and tell you. Guys, you need to try because uh, what Honorable will tell you is the real fact. This is organic product only. This is uh, organically made and you need to get one for yourself yeah. and try.